Hi everyone, Jessica here. Today we've got a demo for you featuring a switch capacitor converter. So for our setup, we've got a voltage source for our input, we've got a multimeter to take a look at our output voltage, we've got an oscilloscope to look at some waveforms, and we've got our switch capacitor converter circuit. This circuit has the following topology. It's a two to one switch capacitor converter. And so if this is its flying capacitor, one of its nodes can connect to either the input or the output positive terminal. Its other node can connect to either the positive or negative terminal of the output. And so if these are the two terminals of this capacitor, throughout the cycle it's constantly switching between the input minus the output and the output. All right, so to get started, put our probe back on here. All right, and I'll increase our input voltage to about 12 volts. All right, now at this point we've got no load, and so you can see our output voltage is almost exactly at six volts. So 12 volts in, six volts out. That's reminiscent of the two to one switch cap. But we know the true conversion comes in our current. Now if we take a look at the waveforms over here, this yellow waveform is this top terminal of the switch capacitor, and this blue waveform is this other terminal of that flying capacitor. And so you can see between its two stages, it's between the input voltage and the output voltage, and then it jumps down to output voltage minus zero. And so you can see how it jumps between these two stages uh, each cycle. Now this pink waveform down here is just the uh, gate voltage for the switches connecting it to the load. And so you can see when those gates are high is when we have our stage connecting it to the load. All right. now. As we said before, we've got no load on this thing. So let's give it a bit of a load. We're gonna give it an eight ohm load. We saw our current jump up here. We also saw our output voltage go down because now that we've got some load current, we're gonna have a voltage drop. If we look at our waveforms, we see the beginning of our VN minus V out stage. We've got a little bit of charging. You can see that little bitty transient uh, on the switch capacitor, it's voltage increasing a little bit. And on the output stage, we see it decrease a little bit. But as you can see, we complete that transient long before we go on to our next stage. That means we're in the slow switching limit. So we're at a frequency of about five kilohertz here. Let's see what happens if we ramp up that frequency. You can see our voltage is rising. Now we're at about 250 kilohertz and we've saturated at about 5.96 volts at our output. Not quite six volts from before, but way better than what we had in the slow switching limit. We zoom in. We see we can no longer see that transient that we saw at the beginning of the stages. And that's because we're only looking at a tiny portion of that charge and discharge transient. It does not have time to complete before we jump on to the next state. And to show that that doesn't change, I can even ramp up our load current even more. So now we were at eight ohms. I'm gonna take that off. I'm gonna to go to four ohms, even more current. We still don't see that transient, but if we were to go all the way back down to the frequency we started at, which is about five kilohertz, you can see that transient is much more pronounced in the slow switching limit. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much.